So today we're going to show you how to do an easy ease effect in After Effects and it's going to look a little something like this. What's up guys? I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And you're watching... Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing an easy ease effect on After Effects. So you might be asking yourself what that is. That is exactly what I was just thinking to myself. What are you what talking about? What am I about? talking about? Well, what I'll tell you, What is Brent. that? So the first thing we want to do is we're going to create a shape. So we're going to grab our little square tool up here. And first things first, we're just going to drag it, create this nice little square shape right that here. That is a very nice square. I'm thinking it's the best square I've ever seen. Yes, it's hip to be square. So what we want to do is we want to put the square in the center. So actually what we can do is go over down here to our align tab mm. and we're going to center it Oh, by dag. clicking the middle horizontally and vertically. Nice. So there it is. It's in the center. So I'm thinking for this we're going to be doing a uh, scale. Okay. We're going to make it so that the square starts small and then grows into this size here. Okay. But the first thing we have to realize is that if you take the scale by hitting S and shrink it, you'll notice that the square is actually Weird. going towards that little circle right what there. What is that? That's actually called the anchor point. Oh. So we want to make sure that the anchor point is in the center of our object if we want it to sprout from the center of itself. And why wouldn't you want that? Exactly. You want it to go from the center. I mean, come on. Everything comes from within. So, <laughs> <laughs> so in order to move this anchor point, it's actually really simple. We just have to select our Y key and we're going to hold command and drag it and it'll snap right to the center there. Cool. So now if we hit the scale and lower it, it will go right down oh, yeah. itself. Look at that. That's beautiful. So we're going to start by creating a keyframe here at the beginning by hitting the little stopwatch here. So that created a keyframe and now the timeline knows that the square should be this size at this point in time at zero seconds. So we're going to want to make it grow. So we can actually drag this keyframe out to about half a second. So now our current time marker is still at zero, but the keyframe is here at half a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this number down here at 100 and we're going to hit zero. So that's going to make sure that our square is at the smallest size it can possibly be. And within a sec, half a second, it grows to the initial size. Nice. So if we hit play here, you'll see the square is just boom getting bigger. And that's looking really good already. But there's actually a, a way we can make this look even better. How could it possibly look any better, Bobby? That's where Easy Ease comes in. Okay, so, yeah, I was wondering about that. If we zoom in here by clicking our plus key, okay, we can see a little bit better what our keyframes look like. So the way to create Easy Ease, there's a few different ways to do it. The way that I've learned to do it, so we're going to select our keyframes and you're going to hit F9. Nice. So that automatically creates an Easy Ease effect. So watch this. See how it grows into the size a little bit smoother? Yeah. A little bit more organically? I'm digging it. So that's the first way you can do it. Now if I go back here, uh, back to our linear keyframes, there's another way you can do it. You can highlight them, you can right click, go down to keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. And it'll All do right. the same thing. Nice. So now it's looking really good, but there's a way we can make it look even better. So oh, man, you just keep stepping up the game. I know. Right. It's, it's there's a few different. Layers I don't know if I can here. handle it. This is an onion. I might have We're to peeling sit this back one out. the layers. I might have to sit this one out. Right. If you're feeling it. winded, please by my all means. My face is hot. Sit this one out. My if face feels hot. Winded. What we're going to do is we're going to select our keyframes, and now up here, there is a little icon called Graph Editor. Okay. We're gonna select that. Whoa. I know that's probably very scary looking. That is scary. Yeah. It, it what is looks very here? scary. So right now what we're looking at is a graph of the uh, speed. So there's a few different graphs that we can look at here. You might have a different one if you're just starting this for the first time. Uh, if you right click here, it shows different graph types. So there's a value graph, which shows sort of the size and the speed. Okay. And then there's the speed graph, which I prefer because it shows sort of a graphical representation 
of the size and speed at which your object is changing. Okay. So as you can see here, it starts at a certain speed and then it ramps up, hits the peak speed and then slowly comes back. There's a way that we can make it so that it looks even more organic. So if you take this little node right here and pull it in, Whoa. you can see it's making a little bit more it looks like a roller coaster of an now. aggressive bend. Yeah. So it's easing into the speed a little bit slower. So we can make it have a really, really, really dynamic curve where it slowly comes in and then quickly ends up at the second shape. Oh yeah, shape. yeah, you can really see how it like really speeds up at the end there. Yeah, it's very dynamic looking. So if you take the beginning one and move it there, and then if you take the end node and move it in, yeah. it's going to create this really funky looking graph shape. But watch, it's got this really organic looking. So now there's one step further that we can take this. Oh. This is up to you, Brent, but I'm just gonna show you guys. Oh my God. He can't even take it anymore. Oh no. It's it looks, already looking. It looks too good. Amazing. There's one step further though. The so we government's can, gonna come after us with <laughs> technology like this. We're gonna add some motion blur because oh no. I think that makes it look a lot better. So we're gonna select our little motion blur down here and we're going to select the motion blur enabler up here next to our graph editor. And we're actually gonna bring it back to our regular keys so it looks a little bit more uh, simple. And when we play now, Wow. Ooh, look at that. Kind of scared me a little bit the way it's coming at you. It looks very interesting, doesn't it? It looks yeah. kind of real. So we can actually spread these keys out. To really accentuate what's happening. To see happened. what's going on. And you see how smooth that is? Just simple little things like the Easy Ease editor in After Effects can make your graphics go from simple to really smooth looking. And I think it's important that everyone learns these basics uh, in the most simple way possible. Yeah. I mean, just that one little thing there made this simple square look pretty, pretty awesome. Now, if you want to go further into it, even further, you can do some cool stuff. I know, Brent. Hold your horses. I'm going catatonic. I know, I, I can't know. even move. It's kind of, like, kind of scared for your health right now. I'm like dying behind my eyes right now. I just can't handle <laughs> it. So, if we want to take this a little bit further, uh, that's basically the tutorial. But there's some other things you can do to it. You can play around with it. So I like playing around with the rotation. So if we create a keyframe here and a keyframe at the end, let's say 180 degrees, as it moves up, it spins. Whoa. So there's a way that we can make our rotation sort of match the smooth ease in and ease out of our, our expansion of the square. So we're going to select our keyframes for the rotation here. And we're going to hit F9. So we're going to give it an easy ease. Cool. And now what we're going to do is we want it so that the rotation sort of comes to a slow halt as the size is at its peak. If we grab the scale here, we can actually see both of those together. And I think that it's going to look best if we bring our rotation about here. And we're going to do the same thing with our little node here. We're going to pull it back so that the rotation starts going really quickly and then slows down toward the end of our scale up. Nice. So if we play back here, it's gonna have this really smooth looking spin and enter effect. So I'm really liking that animation. That looks amazing. Yeah, and we can, we can do a lot more to it. We can actually make it so that it's even more of a dramatic spin. So it can really come spinning in like that. Nice. And it's got this kind of newspaper yeah. article. Extra, extra, read all about it. Effect. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. Uh, it looks really interesting, nice. I think. So now you know how to do an easy ease in After Effects. Easy ease. And we will see you next time. Learning with Bobby and Brent. I can't believe we just hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody. As a little thank you to you guys, we're gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna be giving away this really cool glow-in-the-dark Nikola Tesla t-shirt, and we're gonna bundle it with a pair of wireless Bluetooth headphones. So, if you would like to win, and I know you do, 
go to our iTunes podcast and rate and review it for us if you would, because that'll really help our podcast shoot up on the charts. We're gonna take anyone who's rated and reviewed, throw them into a big stirry uppy thing, pull out a name and give away these cool gifts to a winner from that giveaway. So please do that soon. We're gonna give away. Thank you so much for becoming a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed already, please do it right now. Thank you.